good morning, good evening, good night. Welcome to the Dear Love Podcast. You can catch us at Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, Listen Notes, Google Music, Podbean, all that good stuff. You already know how this go. Let's get right into it. This week, I learned a whole lot about a whole lot of people. Just sometimes it's best to sit people down and just ask them, what do they feel like their goals are? And I used to say stuff like, what do you see yourself in five years? What do you see yourself in 25 years? But nowadays, you got to say, hey, where do you see yourself in five days? You got to give yourself little goals now because people just don't think the same. Now I'm just, I just hear how people, all people think about as far as like jobs and things is the pay rate. But you got to understand with these jobs, the more they pay you, the more they going to want from you. They going to want to like get as much work out of you as they can. So it's best to do your own thing. I just hear how people want to work at these certain spots and they rather go there and they rather do that. Another thing that don't look good is having a million jobs within a year and a million jobs within six months and just working, working, working. Keep one job, work that out, see how that go, try to move up, things of that nature. Because I'm the type, I don't really want to commit to nothing unless I'm into it. When I first started doing this camera stuff, I said, you know what? It wasn't just like a joke or anything. I watched, okay, I, like I said, I did the music thing. I watched so many people do indie films and skits, stuff like that. And I'd be having so many ideas in my head. I was thinking like, well, that would be something I would love to do. So it started off with me sending an email to Mickey Fax and... It was about an interview and he accepted it. And I'm like, man, it's real love when people, especially with the, you know, the blue check, certified check and all that stuff on, on the social media sites, when they give you a chance to, Hey, you know, come through, mess with me. So, you know, that's kind of where all of this started. And it's so much easier now to just go your own route. These jobs make you feel like you got to do them. No, step out on a limb and do what you got to do. I just wish everybody felt like that because a job will consume you and take all your time to the point where you can't do nothing for yourself. You got to take that walk on faith. I remember who said it. Was it Fantasia or see, I don't want to quote the wrong person, but basically what they said is how, well, how they were saying it is as long as you stay in this little box, like don't want to step out you you holding back from your dreams basically you holding back from yourself you got to be able to step out and do what you need to do for you that don't necessarily mean quit your job or nothing but just always have that open mind to do the things that you want to do because nobody gonna take care of those things the way you would take care of them so you got to always remember do it yourself and i say that to say man it's like that with getting girls too man Back in the day, I used to really depend on, like, a friend or something talking to a girl for me. Now, I don't mean, like, literal sense, like, oh, I can't talk. Can you do it for me, please? No, not like that. <laughs> what I'm saying is, when I was coming up, it was always based off of sort of, um... Fran, know a friend, know a friend type stuff. Because you always would have your telephone relationships. But it came to a point where you kind of lived off of that. That was like the way people communicated. And it was through like meeting like that. So when I finally, you know, met the girl in person, it's kind of like a 50-50 chance that they actually rock with you and, and stuff like that. So... I ain't, you know, I'm I'm honest on my podcast, man. It was times I was, you know, thirsty. One thing I don't like, though, is men that don't keep it 100 with they self. If you can't be 100 with yourself, then you can just forget it out here in this world. Have I ever done thirsty things? Yes. Who hasn't? You know, 
have I messed with fat girls, however you want to say it, bigger girls? Yes, who hasn't? People are lying. You know what I'm saying? How do those people end up pregnant then if nobody messed with them? Let's be honest. So men got to be 100 with they self. So I, I, like, I, I can't stand a person. I knew a couple people who would say, oh, man, they just judged every person. Oh, she's she's too skinny. Oh, she's too thick. Oh, and it'd be so funny because when they say these things about the people that I guess they would be with, then you finally see them with somebody and you kind of just look like, uh, nigga, like she don't look nothing like, anyway, another thing is I don't care what we say as men, we love crazy women. We love them. We love them. We love them. Why do you think <laughs> Baby Boy made so much money? Yvette was the greatest crazy woman on planet Earth because that's how, believe it or not, that's how men want to be. They want that woman that'll say, let me smell your dick. They want that woman that'll say, you know, you cheating on me and, and I ain't doing this, I ain't doing that. Then y'all have sex and then she clean. Like, some people are attracted to that type of living or that lifestyle they like a crazy female but hold on at the same time though women y'all like a crazy man too y'all like when a man say come here y'all like when a man you know not smack you like domestic violence okay let's let's i, I let's get that out the way but I'm saying, like, y'all like that little type of stuff. You know, a man that'll hem you up a little bit and say, hey, get your ass over here, man. You over there with them. Y'all like that. Y'all really like that. And if you say you don't, you're lying. Because, again, the same way they say the bigger girls or the skinnier girls or the less attractive, however they want to say it, the same way they say that they get pregnant, how these crazy niggas be having baby mamas then? How these crazy dudes who busting out windows, oh, yeah, he, um... He apologized, so we cool now. We had talked it out or whatever, and I had realized that I was tripping. See, it was me the whole time. Like, that's what y'all do. That's what y'all get into. So, honestly, we all like what we like, but the majority of the people do like a crazy woman or a crazy man. It's just a different feeling, man. You get, I don't know, you get like a different vibe from them it's nothing like a woman who don't take no stuff but at the same time she respect her man and she respect her position that's dope to me a woman who ride or die no matter what's going on even if your your idea is is trash can worthy she's still right there with you you know what i mean like i think that's real super dope and you know they always say well men like the throw stuff in women's faces or, or vice versa. Hell yeah. Sometimes you got to do that to remind a person, nigga, I was there for you from when your drawers was dirty. Nigga, I, I was there for you. Or for a woman. I was there when you ain't had no job. I was there when you, like, we do that to each other, you know, and we only do it. It don't always be because we mad or we don't care about the person. Sometimes you got to do that, man. You got to do that. But be an independent person, though. Like, be the person, like I said, even going back to jobs and all of those type of things and like, do something for you. Like, if you know you crazy as hell, be crazy. Stop fronting for the cameras, man. If I know I'm crazy. And I'd rather you know that up front at the door because I want you complaining later. Like, you, you know what you was getting yourself into. I'm crazy. So... Do I like a crazy woman? Yes, to an extent. Everything to an extent, though, you know? So we got to we gotta really, like, learn to be ourselves. Stop worrying about what people think. Because I don't give a damn. Like I told you, I'm crazy. I hope she crazy. And we can have some crazy babies. <laughs> I think I'm one and done, though. So uh, that might not happen. <laughs> Dear love, T-Shaw, I'm out of here.